Good evening, everyone, and I am in Love Language Minute, June 27th, Monday, June 27th, 2022. And um, Love Language Minute's title is Embracing Differences. The body is a unit. Though it is made up of many parts, and though all its parts are many, they form one body. So it is with Christ. 1 Corinthians 12, verse 12. What are some of the differences between you and your spouse? If you are an optimist, your spouse may be a pessimist. Often one spouse is quiet, the other is talkative. One tends to be organized with everything in its place, the other spends half of a lifetime looking for car keys. After years of arguing about differences, couples often conclude that they are incompatible. In fact, incompatibility or irre irreconcilable differences is often cited as the grounds for divorce. Yeah, really? There's where the problem is. But just because you picked the wrong one, I mean, that you, you need to make sure you pick the right one the first time. Just saying, marriage isn't disposable. Unless you've got an abusive significant other. That's a whole different ballgame. However, after 30 years of counseling married couples, I'm convinced that there is no irreconcilable differences, only people who refuse to reconcile. And I would agree with that. In God's minds, our differences are designed to be complementary, not to cause conflicts. Yeah, it's kind of like the yin to the yang. You're, you're great at this thing, I'm great at that thing, and then vice versa. The principle is illustrated by the church as the Apostle Paul described in 1 Corinthians 12. Each member performs a different role, yet each is seen as an important part of the body. Believers can accomplish far more when we function as a team. Why can't we get this working in our marriages? It all begins by accepting our differences as an asset rather than a liability. Why not begin by thanking God that you and your spouse aren't exactly alike? Lord Jesus, thank you for the reminder that your church is stronger because it is made up of many people with different gifts and skills. When I get frustrated with how different my spouse and I are, help me to remember that our differences can make up us as a better team. Please show us how to celebrate each other's uniqueness. Amen. What a great devotion. So I hope you enjoyed that. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye.